In this video, we're going to talk about iOS push notifications for React Native Expo developers using nativenotify.com. It only takes about five minutes to set up. It's not very complicated. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon. We come out with videos all the time. We'll go ahead and get started. Your first step, if you haven't already, is to go to nativenotify.com. Click this sign up free button. It's free to sign up. There's no credit card required. That should take you to a page like this. If this is your first time, again, click this create an app button, click React Native Expo. That'll take you to a page like this. Now, before we move on to iOS setup, it's really important. You just need to make sure to follow these start here instructions. It does not take a long time at all. You just have to install Native Notify, uh, import this registration um, function, paste it here in your app.json file our app.js file and everything is will just work push notifications work at that point so uh if you haven't done that already here's a video that'll walk you through it you'll want to make sure to follow these start here instructions first before moving on to the ios setup guide so after you've done that we just need some basic information you can click this link here um and that'll once you log in, this takes you to your Apple developer account. You'll need an Apple developer account before you can uh, use iOS in production mode. Um, before you set all this up, you can go ahead and be using iOS push notifications uh, in Expo Go after going through the Start Here guide. Once you're ready for production, you'll want to uh, make sure you have an Apple developer account created. and um, once you do, you can come here to find all the information you need. We'll just go through this one by one together. So the first thing you need is an Apple P8 file. Uh, you can find that by, again, click this link, come here, click certificates, identifiers, and profiles. You wanna come down here to keys. Um, and if you haven't done this already, uh, you'll wanna click this plus button. Now, before I do that, let me explain what this is. This key is uh, used for all of your apps. So it's limited to just two. You can only create up to two keys. The reason is uh, they want you to just use one key for all of your apps. So you could have 10 different apps in your account using the same uh, push notification key. So. Um, this is just, if you haven't created one already, you'll want to click this plus button. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. I'll say native notify expo key. You want to click this uh, Apple push notification service right there. That's all you have to do. Click continue. Uh, click register. Now this is very important. You can only download this p8 file one time once you download it uh it's it's gone you can't download it again so you need to save this in a location that you won't forget so i'll go ahead and click download all right and i'm gonna go ahead and just put it on my uh, desktop right there i'll save it somewhere else later um, but again you'll notice i can't download it anymore um, so i'm just done all right, so you'll need that file that you just downloaded. Come here to upload an Apple P8 file. Click up, choose file. This is the one I just downloaded. Click submit. Okay, and so it's a, submitted successfully. Uh, next thing is it says use this file name below. So you can just come here, copy this name right here and come here and paste it in this input where it says P8 file name. Um, the next thing you need is your Apple auth key ID. So you can come back here and click on the key that you just created. And you'll notice the key ID is right there. You can just copy that, come back here, paste it. And you'll also notice it matches this text here in your P8 file. Um, the next thing is your Apple team ID. Go back to your link. You'll notice it's actually right up here in the top right corner. You can click this to say view membership. 
come down here to membership and you'll see your team ID right there. So you can just copy that, put that there. And the last thing you'll need is your Apple bundle identifier. Uh, you can find that in your app, um, in the app.json file. This is where you identify uh, what you're gonna call your Apple app. Um, in the iOS uh, key right here is where you can put your bundle identifier. Um, you can also create this when you uh, create your first uh, Apple build. Uh, when you say EAS build and go with iOS. Um, but this is where you find it if you've already done that. So you'll want to get that, paste that right there. That's all we need. Just go ahead and click update settings. Okay. And you're officially ready to send iOS push notifications. So a big thing here is... Um, once you update all the, these settings here, your Expo Go push notifications will stop working. Um, so it's like you're exiting development mode, you're entering production mode. So the only way iOS push notifications will work from here on out is on an actual phone. So you'll need to use something called Test Flight. If you haven't done this before, there's an app. It's called Test Flight. It looks like that. That's where you'll be able to find the apps that you upload to your developer account. And we'll go ahead and just do that together right now. So to go ahead and get this uploaded to the app store, you can come over to your app and in your terminal, you can just say EAS build, go down to the iOS section, click return. And this, if this is your first time, you'll need to log into your account. If you've already done that, uh, you can just click yes to all the questions. And a cool thing that you'll notice here um, is if you've already done this before, um, all of this information that we just uploaded here should already be here. Um, most of it anyway. So you can find your bundle ID right there. You can find your Apple team ID right there. Um, and those are the two main things down here. The rest is related to your uh, Apple P8 file, um, which you should have gotten that whenever you created your Apple P8 file. And again, you can just click here, uh, go here, click key to find um, the name of your key ID uh, for your P8 file. But once this is done, it's going to create an IPA file and you'll wanna upload that to the App Store. And the way you do that is, uh, I'll go ahead and find this on the App Store. There's something called Transporter that you can install. It's called, I'll just look it up for you, Transporter. It looks like this. This is created by Apple. Um, I've already installed it, but if you haven't done that already, you can just install it uh, and then you can open it up. And it just, it looks something like this. Um, once you have your IPA file created, you can just drag and drop it into here and then uh, upload it. And we'll go ahead and do that together as well. And I accidentally did this. So this is one of the annoying things to remember is make sure before you build uh, to come to your app.json file, change your version to another number or it won't work. So I'm going to change it to five. So you need to make sure to update your number to a different number that hasn't already been uploaded or Apple won't accept the upload. So you'll just want to make sure your version number is different. Uh, and then you can come back here and start all over again. EAS build, iOS, and just say yes to everything. All right, so once that's done, something like this with a .ipa should uh, show up. You'll want to just click command, click the link. It should automatically download. And I'm going to move 
the transporter, I'm going to actually move this over here. All right, and you can just drag this file onto the transporter. And you should have already logged in. Um, if you've already logged in, you can then just click deliver. And while that's uh, uploading, you can come back here to uh, your developer account. You can click account. Click App Store Connect. This is where you're going to need to go next, App Store Connect. This is how you can get uh, your app onto your test flight app on your phone. So click My Apps. Find your app. For me, it's this NN Expo Firebase. Um, and then you can just come over here to Test Flight. And once this is finished uploading, it'll show up right here. Another thing while it's doing that, um, I forgot to mention, if you have not done this already, um, you'll need to create an app, click the plus button, new app, and then find the bundle ID that you created. Um, I've already done this, but you can find one that's not being used yet. Click there, click fill out this information, click create. You'll need to do that before you can um, use test flight. You'll need an app in App Store Connect before you can use test flight. All right, it looks like it finished uploading. So you should be able to refresh here. It should show up. There it is. And what I uh, do from here on is I'll wait maybe 10 seconds and then I'll just keep refreshing the page until uh, your app shows up here. And there's one last thing you have to click before it'll show up on your phone. All right, so something like this should pop up after you've clicked refresh for a while. Uh, and again, it could take as long as 20 minutes for, for it to finish processing. So if it doesn't happen right away, don't freak out. But you'll want to click manage, answer this question, and then click next. All right, and so now it should be ready to go on your uh, phone. So I'm going to come back here, and it says you can go ahead and click this send tab here and send yourself a push notification. So uh, I'm gonna open up the app on my phone. Okay, and there it is right there. It says I can update it. So I'm gonna update the app and you'll need to reopen the app before uh, you can send yourself a push notification. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it. All right, there it is. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and test out trying to send myself a push notification. I'll see if it arrives. This is my title. This is my message. Let's see if it arrives on my phone. Oh, and there it is. It just arrived. This is my title. This is my message. So that's iOS push notifications for Expo. It's pretty simple. Um, if you have any questions, I know there was a lot covered in that. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, ask me any questions uh, in the comments below. I'll also put my email in the description below if you have any further questions. If you like this video, make sure to like the video. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you next time.